I mean, generally speaking, these ideas come pretty easily, and I've been doing this for a long time. But uh, there's times like recently where you run into something of a, of a writer's block. Uh, the term in the industry is drawer's block. And uh, you reach a, a point where you, you hit this drawer's block and you have to come up with a creative way to, um, to solve these problems and come up with new, new ideas for skate graphics because, you know, it's like everything's been done. And so what I invested in a number of years ago is the, uh, the skate graphics dartboard. And so what I do is I leave it up to a higher power. I let the darts decide what I'm going to do for my next skate graphics. So um, I'll show you how this works. And don't let me down. One. I throw three darts. Two. And come on. Now I go check it out and see what the results are. The first one vintage and classy all right that's cool i can work with that oh no the second one scary skeletons i hate scary skeletons jesus all right and the third one watercolor i can work with that all right vintage and classy scary skeletons and watercolor all right time to get to work i'm todd francis and uh, I work for Element. The last few weeks I've been working on this series called the uh, Old Bones series. It's uh, taking the personalities of each of the three uh, writers that are getting aboard and turning them into uh, you know, skeletons doing uh, what those guys would normally be doing or at least uh, acting out in some way that's sort of emblematic of the writers. Everything starts on the drawing table. So I spend a few days Usually I do it in the sketchbook, but I just got going on a big sheet of paper here, and so I've been in skateboarding long enough to where drawing skeletons is pretty easy these days, so uh, that wasn't too much of a struggle. But I've got this anatomy book around here somewhere that, uh, that I can refer to for for like getting the ribs right in the rib cage and the right number of vertebra on the neck and all that kind of thing, because I want it to be done right. Yeah, the drawings are just a lot harder. Um, I have to refer to like uh, some medical uh, manuals to try and get the skeletons just right. In the past, whenever I've done skeleton stuff, it's always been uh, you just sort of make it up based on what you think skeletons actually look like. You know, with uh, with Mike's guy, do we add? Do we give him the bolt the bolt tattoo on the bone with Bam? Do we do a hat and a goatee? Uh, with with Chad, do we give him a hat or do we just go with the the Ray Bans that he wears a lot right now? Maybe. Go with a scarf and then scan them, and show them to uh, show them to the guys at Element, and uh, we talk it through and see what works best. Uh, it's interesting when you're able to talk to somebody, talk about an idea, and really watch it materialize through a drawing. He's able to visualize what you're talking about and come back with this. So that that was pretty amazing because the original drawings were really close. The way I always look at it is if people are looking at these things, are they going to think it's funny or mm. chilling? Or, you know, like, I guess everything I try and work on it has to have something going on, whether it's either really amusing or really entertaining or something. And so uh, I think at least with these, especially with these final printouts, you can look at them and hope that people are going to look at it and, and like, kind of be impressed with the detail and also be somewhat, you know, amused by the, uh, you know, the, the sort of the sense of humor of capturing these guys in that way. This is very spot on with what we can do and it still feels like it's element because it's very different than something we've done in a long time. But when you look at the final graphic, it makes a lot of sense. That was, that was probably one of the things that got me the most excited about the, about the series. And this is what's really cool to me is this illustration style is real true to the way you draw for your personal sort of art. And in this particular case, it's it's all about Todd, and it's something that's his sort of idea and drawn in his personal style, which makes it authentic to the artist, which is why we're highlighting it this time. Todd is one of the people that has truly been a part of this company for so many years that it was really important to me that he be one of the first people that we sort of showcase when it comes to our advocates, because he clearly deserves it more than more than anyone else. So. It was really important as a brand that we took someone who's been part of this company for so many years doing amazing art and sort of let the world know that's who's behind this, you know, a lot of these projects because he deserves the credit and he doesn't give it to himself, so we should give it to him for him. So. <laughs> well, it's funny because, you know, I've been working for Element since 99. I've been 
doing board graphics since 93, and this is the first time I've ever had my name on a skateboard. I have them well labeled. Element t-shirt graphics, element board graphics, more element board graphics. I think most of all these are element board graphics. And then this is, uh, this of course is the most important one. This is the, my little kids graphics. <laughs> I had to give them a flat file so they wouldn't walk out on me. I think we can skip by those. <laughs> 